welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are excited for today's makeup tutorial because I totally am. If you're into this look, then keep on watching. Everything I will be using in today's video will be linked down below. And I feel like this is such a pretty, pretty fall look. It is very green, giving me like pumpkin fall vibes. And I honestly love it. Perfect if you're going to go out with your family for Friendsgivings or on a date or just like you just want to sport out a different look for the fall. Like this is really, really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, Honey, let's go ahead and get started. So for today's look, we're going to go ahead and use the Jaclyn Hill palette. We're going to jump into this pearly white color right over here and apply it all around the lid, the base of our lid. And we're going to be using a flat brush just like this one. This is a little flat brush that I use. And we're going to pick a product, apply it, and dab it onto the lid. We're going to go ahead and jump into the same palette in today's video just to let you guys know we're going to be using one palette i feel like it's super important to try different looks with one palette just because it just makes sense when you have so many different colors you can play with so the next color we're going to go into is this cute pumpkin color i feel like it's so fall it gives me all like thanksgiving fall vibes and we're going to go ahead and place this within the crease of the lid i'm going to be using this dome brush that is called the mac 270 brush. We're going to pick a product and apply it within the crease of the lid. It's going to be our transition shade. Once we've applied our color into our crease, we're going to move on to the same palette, obviously, and we're going to apply this hazelnut color right over here and apply it within the corner of the eye and then blend it throughout the crease of the lid. We're just going to add a little bit more depth into our, you know, eye look before we go into and apply a little bit of this We're going to go in and start dabbing into this dark green color right over here on the bottom of this palette. We're going to be very, very light-handed with this because as you guys know, we can easily mess up this whole look and look crazy. <laughs> and I'd rather go in applying little by little, you know, building the color than adding too much and not knowing what to do and feeling like you have to start all over again. And we never want to do that. So we're going to use an angled brush just like this one. And this one is from Beach Cosmetics. And we're going to apply a tiny bit, like you're just going to dab your brush lightly in there. What we're going to do is just on the corner of the eye, we're going to go ahead and smoke it out. And then any excess color that you might have onto your brush, you're just going to slowly, you know, mix the color, blend in the color within the crease of the lid just very lightly. This is something that you can build as much as you feel comfortable. It depends on how comfortable you are with your eyes and how, you know, pigmented you really want it to be um, and how subtle or how fierce you want to look. So um, just like I mentioned before, you're just going to apply a little bit onto your brush and then build as you feel comfortable. starting to love the look as just as much as me. I honestly love how creamy these eyeshadows are. I'm noticing no fallout whatsoever. I feel like I'm not even noticing any patchiness with dark pigmented colors like this. You definitely are prone to patchiness just because it's so hard to, you know, find a color that is so pigmented that does so well. So I honestly really love it. We're going to go in now and use the same colors that we were using before. And we're going to smoke out the bottom lash. That is one of my favorite things to do as you guys know I feel like that is like my signature look we're gonna smoke out the bottom lash okay because it's sexy it's cute and you know it's just a mood so we're gonna go back in and apply this pumpkin color right over here and this hazelnut color and we're just gonna go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash make sure to blend because you don't want it to look like you have a straight up line <laughs> under your eye you just want to go ahead and blend as much as you can and just dab little by little you don't Obviously, you don't want it to be too pigmented. You just want it to be smoked out, really romantic, pretty looking. But obviously, each to their own. Apply as much as you feel comfortable. Um, and like I mentioned before, I am using this MAC Dome Brush right over here. Perfect for any smudging or shadowing under the eye. And it is the MAC 219. As 
tell I've already smoked out the bottom lash area. I forgot to mention to you to also go back into that dark green color with the same dome brush that we were using to smoke out the bottom lash. And we're going to dab lightly and build for that green. Whatever you feel comfortable with, how pigmented you want your eye look to look. And we're just going to go ahead and smoke it out. I personally stopped midway onto the eye right over here and then just smoked it all out and connected it to the corner of the eye as you can tell I have it smoked out so do as what you like if you want it from one corner to the other and just smoke out all the colors together you totally can it's just whatever you feel comfortable with and what you like um, so now with that said I'm gonna move on to eyeliner you guys know I like to go um, use an angled eyeliner brush and pick up a little bit of this black color in the corner of the palette and apply it as our eyeliner. So it's super simple. Pick whatever color. If you have an eyeliner pencil, if you want to use a pencil, a little bit of powder with your angled brush, go right ahead. Now we're going to do one last thing for eyes. <laughs> and I know I mentioned we we're only going to use one palette, but I totally forgot that the shimmery gold palette color wasn't really like what I'm looking for isn't in this palette it's in another one so I'm so so sorry I was looking for something a little bit more iridescent more lighter I wanted to apply a little bit on the lid like a really beautiful gold highlighter kind of color so I pulled out my other palette and I promise you it'll be totally worth it this is the BH Cosmetic Desert Oasis palette and I honestly really love this palette it is beautiful I use it all the time but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this gold color right over here it is called what is it called terrain terrain yes I'm pretty sure my right. terrain <laughs> and it is this hot bright hot um, shimmery Gold, and we're going to apply this onto the corner of our lid right over here. We're going to use this type of a brush, a flat brush like this. This is from Urban Decay. Yeah, Urban Decay. It's a medium eyeshadow brush. It is E207. We're going to apply this color right over here and apply it into the crease of the lid and the corner tear duct of our eye just to make our eyes really stand out and pop. Obviously, if you don't have a brush like this, I always suggest to use your finger. I personally like to use my ring finger, apply a little bit of the product, and then dab it into the corner of the eye. I just feel like it's easier and you get way more pigmentation, and it just looks more dramatic. You know what I mean? So it's all whatever you prefer. Um, so yeah, we're going to go into the Desert Oasis palette. We're going to pick up a little bit of terrain and apply it to the corner of the eye. in honey and um, we're gonna go ahead and contour because you know I love a good contour and it's super important for me I feel like it makes the biggest difference for me personally so we're gonna go into the NAR no NARS what am I talking about it is the Smashbox Kelly contour palette I did a review on this I think and I honestly still love it I still have it in here lately I pulled it out and I've been using it again so I personally love this we're gonna be using these two shades to mix together to contour my face and then we're gonna go on to this orangey color right over here on the corner side and apply it for our blush for today's look so I'm gonna be using like always my most favorite favorite real techniques brush I've had this for so so long and it's currently dirty so don't judge me okay um, because obviously that means I use it <laughs> but this is a real techniques brush I think this is like a face brush but I've used this to contour and I feel like it's dense enough, it blends really well, it picks up enough product all at one time, and it's amazing, my favorite brush. So we're gonna go in, like always, I like to contour around the jaw, the jawline area, around the cheekbone area, and around the, around the side of our forehead. And honey, contour as much as you feel comfortable, whatever you like to contour, you don't have to contour the entire face like I do, um, like around the face area. I know people like contour their nose, I personally don't. I like to just contour around the forehead, around the cheekbones to give me those, you know, cheekbones, <laughs> and the jawline area just to make me look a little bit, you know, structured, a little bit thinner. <laughs> so let's move on to that. go ahead and use you know what I changed my mind <laughs> again we're gonna go into using what is this called the L'Oreal Paradise enchanted scented blush this is the number 192 just curious I honestly love this blush so much they're really pigmented super affordable and it's such a pretty color like look at this orange girl it gives me pumpkin 
fall really pretty vibes so we're gonna go ahead and use this um as our blush as you can tell girl i've been in it <laughs> i've been digging into this color i wear it all the time this is like my everyday blush that i use and i wear it for work and stuff like that so i honestly really really love it um we're gonna go in obviously with my flat top elf brush the handle broke we know the story so we're gonna just move on we're gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of you know the blush color and what i personally like to do is apply it onto the top of like my cheekbone area. I don't like to personally get too close to my nose or mouth. I kind of just look to, like to elongate it and lift when I'm applying my blush. I just feel like it just gives me the cheekbone area. It lifts my face. You never want to make it look like your blush is like, you know, towards a weird angle. You want it to move up. Um, so I personally, that's the way I like to do it, and I feel like it just looks more flattering if you ask me, but, you know, no one's really asking me, so I'm just telling you, um, but that's personally how I like to apply my blush, and like to apply it over where I contoured, just to blend them both together. Now moving on to our beautiful lips, we're gonna go ahead and line them with NYX in beige. Honestly, love this lip liner. I feel like it's a very natural color, and I like to overline my bottom lip just slightly, like right here in the center of it. And I like to overline just a tiny bit on the upper lip, but not too much. As for the next lip color we're going to be using as well, I'm going to go in with um, a milkshake, chocolate milkshake from Too Faced. This is honestly such a beautiful color. You guys are going to love it. It's a beautiful matchy, but it also feels really hydrating, which I love. And then we're going to top it with this wonderful, beautiful, amazing <laughs> gloss that I just recently came across. I was at a bloggers event and one of the girls started her own company and like a month ago and she gave me this lip gloss. It's from, I think it's called Facial Fischel. I'm probably saying it wrong and I'm so, so sorry. But this color is beautiful. It is Casablanca. You guys are going to see it. It is wonderful. You're going to be hooked. It's super affordable. Everything I use in today's video obviously will be linked down below. Obviously, side note, if you guys haven't watched my Cado Contour video, I will have it linked somewhere probably up here in the corner, <laughs> on how I personally contour that specific video. You can see how I personally do it and kind of the rules of the thumb on that. So yeah, let's go ahead and work on our lips. go ahead and curl these babies okay curl these lashes that look like so serious so dead not alive at all <laughs> I wish they were naturally curled up I mean I wish I didn't have to get like eyelash perms or have an eyelash curler but it's okay we're gonna work through it I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes as always I'm gonna be using my most favorite favorite mascara of all time it is the super lash mascara i will have it linked down below in case you are interested i normally have super straight lashes so this mascara does a job because i like to curl my lashes first and then apply mascara and they never fall down so let's move on to mascara sums up our video for today. I hope you like this look because I think it turned out so beautifully. I feel like this is perfect for fall. If you're either going to go have, you know, for dinner with your family or if you're going to have a Friendsgiving. I know I'm throwing out ideas. Or if you're going to go out even like on a date or just go out with your girlfriends. This is such a pretty fall look. Honestly love it. I like that it's still, you know, pigmented. It's still look, but it's not too crazy and out there, but it's soft enough that it's very soft glam and sophisticated. And I love a good nude lip. How do you love this lip color combination? I feel like it's really, really pretty. Um, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, I will see you guys next time. I love you guys.